Hi, welcome to my channel. And in this episode, I'll show you how to create custom kingdom. First, let's use the old mod as our template, the custom heroes, and change it into a custom kingdom mod. Now, let's take the SP kingdoms from sandbox folder and place it inside our new mod. Now in sub-module, let's change the ID value to match our mod folder. Also, the SP Kingdom should also be added and we will do it manually. So here, the path must be matched with the XML name and the tag which is the Kingdom. Now this is our sub-module. Let's take one kingdom as our template and let's change the ID to a unique one. We change the owner of the kingdom into the owner of this clan so she will be the queen of this kingdom. Let's change the title. Let's change the description of the kingdom. Let's change the super faction into the ID of the kingdom we need. Now let's test our mod. Activate it first. And in here, let's search our hero that owns the kingdom. Now this is the kingdom we made. The, the name of the kingdom is unchanged but the description has been changed. So let's change the name of the kingdom and let's see what happens so we will see here that the name has been changed now see here that the street clan is an enemy of an empire culture because they are an outlaw. That means our kingdom is an empire. Now let's join and see what is their policies. We will add policies here like the one that has an apostrophe which is the Lord's Friday Council. About adding policy, you can just copy this and type the Lord Friday Council without capital and without the apostrophe. And let's add some more. Now let's see the policy after creating a new game. Take note that we need to create a new game to see the changes in the kingdom we made as it only spawns at the beginning of the game. Now you see here that Kuzate is an enemy of the empire we copied that's why we also have this. Now if we add other culture like Blanja and let's use the Northern Empire. Now in new game, let's see that. Kuzate is still an enemy because 
the kingdom might have declared war with it. Now this is the enemy of our kingdom. The friend must have been not added because there's a positive sign beside it. Now about changing the color of the banner and the color of the kingdom, we will go to the banner lord party and take the first color of the banner. See here that the background is black, we will change it into orange, which is not from the game, and compare it. You can see that 116 and 82 are different. So that means 116 is black and 82 is orange. Now let's see if we put it back to black. Then we'll have a 116. Let's put it into a not so black and we will see that it also have a different code which is 149 this is the color from the banner editor of the game this is only the background so we will change the seagull color first is this is a gray Now let's change it into blue-green, which is not from the game, and let's compare it. You can see here that 140 should be the previous color, which is the gray. And now, the 16 should be the blue-green. So let's make a list. Now after doing those, let's go to the banner icon inside the native and let's try to search for that code of the color. Let's first take the 82 which is the orange and this should be the color hex we can apply to our kingdom color. Let's make this the primary color so that it will be the background of all the banner who will join the kingdom. Now let's find the 16 and this should be the blue green the color of the seagull. Let us apply this two in the label color color and color 2. Now let's test this and see what it looks like inside the game. See here that the banner is still the same but the member of the kingdom will have that color we put. Now let's see what happens when we join the kingdom. Now this is the final color of all the members of the kingdom. That concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. See you on the other videos.